we are one day away from the RoboTaxi launch event happening in Austin, Texas. I know Bearded Tesla is making his way down there tomorrow. <laughs> But tell me, uh, Justin, what are you excited about? What does this moment mean for the Tesla community, Tesla investors? What are you looking forward to seeing? Break it down for us. I'm so excited, um, not just for the, the standard run of the mill stuff. I'm so excited because it's finally here. It doesn't matter necessarily the big picture of everything they're gonna be doing at the end of the day, but on Sunday, tomorrow, we are gonna have our first customer ride in a That's driverless, crazy autonomous vehicle from Tesla, which is amazing. This is the opportunity that we take haters, the doubters, and make them believers. Yeah, what is your opinion as far as like, what, do you, what are you expecting tomorrow? Like, so you're obviously gonna get it. We've seen some of the viral videos, like no one's sitting in the driver's seat, someone's sitting in the monitor. What are you expecting to even see as you step into a Model Y? Yeah, I, there's just nothing really known. Tesla is notorious for holding the secrets really tight. And that's still the case here. Even uh, the little bit of details that they've shared about what to expect, it's very limited, right? So we've got a big window of a day of, of when you can use this and that's about it. So I don't even know what the limits of it are, where the, where the geofence is uh, and, and where all we can and cannot take these things. Yeah. So. And what do you think for the, the community? Because we've all been like watching this, this happen. I mean, I remember scouting the, the Cybertruck. I remember seeing like the Model Y Junipers all around the valley, and even you're seeing it here. But this is like where Tesla goes from like kind of being a car company to a fully autonomous vehicle company. Uh, I mean, I think there's only, what is it, six to eight listed autonomous vehicle operators in Austin, and Tesla is now listed as one. Um, so what do, you, what do you think that this means for the community? I think that this is a big moment, not just for Tesla or Tesla, uh, the Tesla community. I think this is a big moment for autonomous driving in general. So we've got Waymo as basically the leader today. I don't think anybody could argue against that. Um, and they've been doing some amazing things, but they've kind of gone basically unchallenged, at least at volume. So the nice thing about this is, this is a moment where Waymo has to review their strategy. What are they doing and how are they going to provide a better, more affordable, more reliable service, just like Tesla is going to have to do in turn. Competition is great. And this is yeah. a big moment because this is real competition is coming. Um, it's going to be interesting, though, when you land in any city that Waymo operates, um, that's a Waymo. You can see it very clearly. That's a Waymo. That is not what we're going to be seeing with Tesla, which is very different. So it's going to be interesting because it's a lot less noticeable. It's just a normal Model Y, just like this one right here. That's that, why we're standing in front of it because this is the Robo Taxi. Yeah. yeah, and that's the best part. There's nothing different about the hardware in the cars we're going to be riding yeah. tomorrow, as it is for this car right here. This car has the same hardware in it that the cars we're going to be riding in. and. Yeah. Nobody else can do that, and that's a big piece of this. This car is affordable. The Waymos are $120,000, $150,000, right? To make. You yeah. got to buy the iPace plus put on the full, the full stack. All of it. And I think you called out two really big things is the fact that Tesla is technically making the RoboTaxi today. It's this car. So they can make out, they can make in volume within a day or two days, they can make what uh, Waymo has on all of the regions that they are in right now. And again, this is... This is not, yes, it's new. People are going to see it, but this is the best selling car in the world yep. as of last year. It's probably going to happen this year. And so it sticks out because it's a new vehicle. But in about three months, you're just going to be seeing these cars without anyone in them. So it's just, I think that's the biggest difference, right? Is they're already making them and it doesn't have a full stack. I, I think it's also really cool because it gives people an opportunity who, for whatever reason, haven't even test driven or demoed a Model Y. Um, but Somebody's going to tell them about Robotaxi, they're going to try it, and then when they get the ride, then they're going to make the connection. Wait, I can buy this car? Yeah. And that's what's very different about yeah. everything else that's out there. It's really exciting. I mean, I, I started testing in October of 2020, and this is really a glimpse into what the future is going to look like. And so Tesla's been working so hard to make this happen. We got Elon back at the helm, fully focused on all of his, his companies right now. So I'm looking forward to it. I know Justin is going to be getting a front row seat. 
technically maybe back row, but like, you know, uh, it's gonna be really excited. So check out his content tomorrow, follow Bearded Tesla. Um, I'm, I'm excited I'll be there as well. Uh, but this is just a big moment for the Tesla community, investors, and really just the world's gonna be watching, but also at the same time, not even noticing. So uh, it should be a good time. It's gonna be amazing. Just think back to version 10 and where we are today. Yeah. Wow. I mean, t Tesla has come so far <laughs> yeah. in just four and a half years. It's taken way longer than everyone expected. Obviously, Elon was overly optimistic all these years, but it's happening. Uh, sure, it's gonna have someone sitting in the passenger side, but we are here, it's a big moment, and this is the one company that can do this at scale. So again, we will be posting a bunch of content tomorrow. I just wanted to get another person's perspective that will be experiencing what his hopes are. Um, and so we will keep you guys all updated with some amazing content.